Hey, what's up guys, how's it going? It's Brent. We're gonna do a video on using the adaptive cruise control with steering assist. Now this is on a 2019 Range Rover long wheelbase, so does the supercharged V8 engine. It is operating off of In Control Touch Pro Duo. So we're gonna go look through here. Go up to the, the driver assist tab there. You can kind of see that through there. So we got the collision. I'm just gonna turn everything on for the full kind of semi-autonomous. Now we go to the steering assistance right there. Now we're gonna to wanna to go to both because we want lane keep assist. So we want the vehicle to assist us around the lanes like on the freeway. And we also want the cruise steering assist. So while I have adaptive cruise control on, which is right here, boom, boom, it will do the steering as well. All right, so this I can turn on. That's the lane keep assist. And then if you look right there, we got the lane keep assist and then we got the little icon with the steering wheel, which is steering assist. Now, once I get on to the, the freeway, we are going to turn on the adaptive cruise control To use adaptive cruise control on this setup right here, we need to set a base cruise speed. So speed limit here is 60, I'm gonna set it to 65. That'll be the, the speed it goes down to, or it'll catch up to. And then you set your distance, and your icon is gonna pop up through there, and it'll give you this kind of distance right here, so you can set a short, medium, or long distance. And that will, basically register with the vehicle ahead of you and it'll keep that distance that you preset on the freeway so if they speed up it'll go up to 65 and then it will go back to regular cruise control until it can find another car if they slow down your car will maintain that same distance so your car will slow down so if you get cut off in on the freeway it kind of trips it out and it, it will go back to just normal cruise control from what I've seen and experience in the past so just kind of keep note on that function we are going to wait until the lane keep assist tracks it Merge here okay so we're going to want to set a base cruise speed you can see right there I'm going to set it to 65 and then boom right here so now we got the distance we want to do I'm gonna do semi-conservative and go medium distance you can do a short or you can do a long so if you can see right there it's doing most of the steering right now because it's reading the lines we got our distance set So right now, my hand's just on the steering wheel. You cannot take your hands off the steering wheel, but it is actually guiding me between these lines on the road that it registers to. So I'm going to signal turning off the left lane one. And now it picks back up. And we also got it right there too. So the gear, the driver assistance is actually on the heads up display too. It's showing the, the lines and then the base cruise speed it's going to set down to. So right now, foot is off the gas pedal and no need for the brake because it is effectively modulating all of that right now. I'm not doing any kind of steering right now. I literally just have my hand on the steering wheel so it kind of helps with you having to maintain constant like awareness on the road for staying in between the lines because the lane keep assist with the adaptive cruise and steering assist is aiding that so little less kind of stress on you to 
make sure you're staying within the lines of the road, which is kind of nice. It's especially nice if you maybe you're sitting in traffic a bunch or if you're doing a long road trip, like around this corner here, I'm pretty much just have my hand on the steering wheel, but I'm not driving it myself around the corner. And once again, we are setting this medium distance with the car ahead of us. I could go short or I can go long too, but I don't want to. Okay, so this guy's braking now. I'm braking semi-hard. Well, the vehicle is braking semi-hard because they're slowing down because it looks like there's some congestion coming up front there. Now it is accelerating for me to kind of keep the distance with the base cruise speed that I set. So once again, I do recommend, obviously, you need to have your hand on the steering wheel. This is not a, a reason to just start texting because you're, it will alert you that you need to keep your hands on the steering wheel. But it's just helping you on your commute or trip or whatever you're doing to not have to be tense the whole time. You can kind of relax knowing that the car is doing the majority of the driving which is an, a nice feature. Now it's not full autonomous like a, a Tesla or some other brands that have the 100% autonomous driving, which depending on your preference could be a plus or a minus. Some people don't like it to have the car basically do the whole thing for you. This is a quote unquote assistance. But what is nice is that it is doing all the the steering for me around these corners like I'm not having to worry about staying on the the left or the right lane or crossing over and that kind of stuff because the, the vehicle is doing that for me So now we are speeding up to the limit. So I hit 65. I set it to 65, so it's not going any faster than that, regardless of that vehicle ahead of me. You see he's going a, a little faster now, so it's outside of the distance because of my speed. It's just gonna, it's on basic cruise control until it can connect to a, the car ahead of me. That's kind of how the adaptive cruise control with steering assist works. And adaptive cruise just in general. The, the steering assist, is doing exactly what I kind of just went over where it is doing the steering for me. If you just have basic adaptive cruise control, it'll just keep the distance ahead of you and it won't really aid with steering. You'll have lane keep assist, which will prevent you from crossing over, but it's not gonna do any additional steering assist. Sometimes where this may not work as well is if the highway or the freeway you are driving on doesn't have clear lines like this like these are clearly visible so the radar is going to pick that up if you are driving on some roads where they're not marked super well you may actually notice that it's not connecting on either side of the road or the line so something to kind of keep in mind of still still modulating me around this corner here So another thing to think of is like this ramp goes down to 50 here. So I'm gonna want to slow down. So I pressed on the brakes and now that turns off the adaptive cruise control. I still have the, the lane keep assist function on, but it's not doing the steering assist because my adaptive cruise control is effectively turned off. So something to kind of keep in mind when you're using the adaptive cruise control the steering assist is like when I got off that freeway, the ramp was 50. Um, it does not slow down to 250 unless you set the, the traffic sign recognition where it adjusts to your speeds and that kind of stuff. But you do lose that functionality with the adaptive cruise control because there's nothing to catch basically. Little demo tutorial and helped you guys be able to find it and then turn it on or off and kind of figure out how to mess with it to adjust to what you want to use it for. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. 
And if you guys like the video, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.